Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Mama Set. We're back in Animalia with our Let's Play of City Skylines. And we've recently zoned the Owl Woods. The Greater Owl Woods. These are Woods of Greater Owls with our new junctions, styles, different variations on the diverting or diverging diamond. So now what we need to do is put some services in for this lot. So let's start with some power, which there is a distinct lack of. Now, I don't want to spoil this lovely view by sticking a power cable across there. So what I will be doing is grabbing one from our park over here and just running a few power cables across the back taking advantage of the gaps we've got between some of our spaces and areas so that we can, it's short and simple make sure that when we start filling this place in we don't have one of those ridiculous situations where you just get a lot of power shortages because no one can find a power route, which is always just a little bit embarrassing. So that's a fair chunk of that side done. Over to here. Let's run down the other side of the highway. So this should give us reasonable power coverage. At least to start with, and then we can go through and do our usual thing of getting rid of all of these. When we decide we no longer want them. Right. Next up, water. How are we doing for water? That's right, actually, how are we doing for power? Plenty. Right, how are we doing for water? Fair chunk of water available, so let's start over here. And I will probably do a rather than doing a more exacting grid, I'll start by making sure that all of our harbour side this will be connected up and then we'll probably do strips across from here to here making sure we just have a little bit of an overlap yeah, there's probably going to be a fair chunk of space that doesn't really necessarily require a great deal of watering but we'll worry about that when we get to those bits like this that section done. Let's do one that I find we'll get to here and then link across. We'll see a minimum distance on the an angle limit on those things, which is a little bit annoying. So right now we've got that lot. Just link that up there. Bit of all these gaps, I and mean, we've got so much money in these things. We're making so much money that we're not in a position where we need to be desperately and excessively optimized with making sure that we get all this water lot in. We just need to make sure that our fair district has all the water it needs. Uh, we will just I don't need one there. Looks like we do miss did miss a few bits over here. So let's just double check and go all the way around. Yep, I'm happy with that. Next up, garbage. Um, we've got a large garbage district over there, so we will just add in an extra one. That reminds me of a spare metro station over there. Don't we'll worry about it in just a sec. Now we need hospitals. Now we've got a big hospital over here, which is kind of nice, but I'm reasonably happy with that. So. What we'll probably want to do is put in a couple of small clinics. So let's put them on the inside of this road. So there's one for there. Let's not put anything under here because we will likely be building that bridge out a bit more. Let's put one here. And then let's put one on the, let's put the services on the inner spoke, one on each side. And then we are probably going to need one on the inner spoke over here. Deal with the dead. Basically, put one of these next to every medical center, just to encourage people to go to the medical center. It's like, okay, well, why do we need to go to the medical center, mommy? Because otherwise you'll end up here. In the unpleasant place. We want one over there. Okay, next up is fire control. So we will carry on what we were doing. We'll just put one in here and here. Down over here to cover that district. 
You can basically create an area of important services. One, two, three, four, and then we will probably on that road. No, let's put one right next to the entrance. Police. How are prison population doing? Not fast. So, and our fire risk is nice and low. Let's put a police station in next to the fire stations. Give us the lovely coverage that we want. Where did that fire station go? I'm just down here. Or in slight problems, all these curvy roads, it just becomes a little bit difficult here in various places to get the access that you want. Uh, Obviously, in a better world, we want it wide to get these when you've got good access. But because we want the actual area effect of these things, this has a, a circular area effect. We actually want to put them in a much worse position, so we're sticking them quite far in. Next up, schools. We are running at the gar limit of our elementary capacity. Okay. That would be a useful place to put one amongst our existing population. Just trying not to destroy the roads on the other end. Yeah, let's stick one there just to beef, beef that up a little bit. There are schools over here. So we want a set of schools. So can we fit them on the inside curve here? No, because of the arc. There is a spot there though. And a spot there. Schools, you don't need to worry so much about in terms of their placement because they don't have any emergency vehicles or anything coming off them. So we can stick them in as central as places we possibly can. No. Yeah. Uh, one on either side of there. We'll stick a school in the middle of there. We'll stick one on the outside of here. We can get a space. Yep, I'm happy with that. High school capacity. You don't need as many of these, so I will put it. Let's not put it right next to the road. It makes something slightly nicer for our children. Uh, it's not good, but we've got high value locations, so we can put it there. I think we will probably see if we do about sticking one on the inside of here. There's space. There we go, ground. Uh, do we want satellite dish? No. Do we need the university? No. Buses. Right. First off, let's talk mass transit. Now, we do have a spare metro station for reasons. So, we will have a line coming in from over here, which will probably head to the center of this. We'll have a line coming in from here. So, we will likely be refitting that station into some kind of twin station, so I have an actual line going in. So we all know that we will have a line going this way and a line going this way. So what we can do is make sure we have a stop in the center of here. There will definitely be a crossover station. So that line is going to come from there, join up here and go to here. So we'll probably want to put a Crossover station in the center of this district. Single station. I can't get this to fit the other way, but we put that way around there. So that line goes from here to here. This line goes straight on to here. This line comes round over to, not put it directly under there. We will be just building with that there. So. I know what I should have done. I should have moved this one over here first. That was silly of me. So what we need to do is replace that station with a cross piece station. Hopefully a position where there is space. Okay, let's scrub these out. I don't necessarily want to move, just move that because I'll let the situation where I lose the junctions or lose the stop points on the stations and have to then rebuild them, which is 
very annoying. So I'm kind of happy with the placement of that right now. Mm. Perhaps what I can do is if I delete those two for now. We'll end up having to do some kind of rebuilding work on this. We'll move that station. One, two, three. Plenty of stations over there. The station. Let's go to 3D mode to actually see a little better. There's an argument to be made for putting a station over here, actually. I think I will do. Right, so we grab that from there. Make sure we're on the curve mode. Over there. Grab the line alter air. Move those two. No, scrub. Not the road, so we've got an extra station on there, which undoubtedly will please people. We have a bus stop that goes near it. Yeah, we do. Grab that just for a little bit extra connection. So they're happier. Right, okay, so we now wanted to stick in our four way station over here where we deleted one. So it went in there. I want a parallel. Not a cross piece. Yes, yeah, so just the station. Full platform. It's the wrong way. And that one. And I want this one to be the inside line. Okay, so let's see. Switch to root mode. Want to drag you. Hold shift and get that side of the line. That appears to have completed that loop. Is there a stop there? Yes. Is there a stop here? No. So if I now also drag that one to there, that's also completed that route. Yeah, okay, that's good. And I just need to drag that one to get that route back. Okay, so now we've got our double junction there. Let's put the beginnings of the rest of this line in. So this is a terminus station, so you come round and link up to here. To there. Come round to this side. Have a hideous turn. Put you to there. Now, this line. Come out. Slope too steep. No, I've got the cliff side to deal with. Let's switch to this one. This is going to be interesting. How far out of my way am I going to have to go? To get down enough. Don't know, let me cut back, are you annoying? Hmm. Alright, I will be back in a bit while I try and do this without you watching me endlessly fish back and forth. See you in a sec. And we're back! And this is what I've had to come up with, because it turns out that this is actually the bit I've decided to bridge across and go straight across, is the deepest bit, or nearly the deepest bit. This is slightly lower, apparently. But this is amongst one of the deepest and steepest bits of the entire river line. So trying to go across it was a bit fun, hence the reason we've got that. I desperately, desperately pity the poor commuter who has to use that 
as a root. So let's connect those ones up. And I believe we should also probably want to make sure we've got stops over here. Just behave a little bit, thank you. Thank you. There we go. Right, that's that route connected up. Goes all the way to here and back again. So we have a nice connection there. So now we want to connect this station, this station, this station, this one, and then back again. And now we need to decide, decide what color is an owl. Metro line 11. What colour is an owl? Well, owls are normally quite dark. If I make this line black, you're just not going to see it. Let's call it a... Well, it's a barn owl, so it's that kind of colour. We'll call that barn owl metro. There we go. We have our new metro line in. Yay! The thing we're looking at was buses. Now, we should probably start a bus route from our new bus station. It goes out to here. All the way around the outside. And then probably just connects back up. Like that, so we just have a, a basic core connect. And then what we want is to spread out from our metro stations. So we will have a line that goes from here and let's see. And stops all the way along here. Back down the other side. And then connects up, so we've got the owl's head. And we want a line that comes out from here, so this one will be the one that looks up and does our external route. This is the bus line that runs along the edge. A stop here, or just a stop at the entrance. Stop at the entrance will do. Just keep this one going all the way along. It's a convenient point for you to turn around. Well, and actually, having you come all the way along here isn't actually that bad an idea. Because I will want a bus route that connects up to these social districts just randomly laying bus stops along here half decent spacings so we get round to the other end there we go, that's that one so we have a metro station over here so we've got a bus loop that comes out mix Various stops. Around here. Nice. Right, so now we've got the bus route in the middle of here. Let's do something kind of similar in terms of just weaving our way. Around. So we just get the interesting excellent covers that we want. And have it come out to there. And then weave its way. Back 
inside the crowd. Right, I did also spot that we've got It's fine. Loop around in a strange manner, it's alright. Yeah, okay. We can't do this with other different. So let's recolor these ones, shall we? We should create a load of blue lines, let's go to bus lines, bus line 47, this owl belly, no extra L, you are going to be a shade of purple, 46, there's one over here, so that's the owl wing, you don't necessarily overlap with anything, but I will make you a different color so I can distinguish you. Line 45. Is that one over here? So I'll make you a shade of. Yeah, that'll do. Our ears. Which is the out ears then? Ah, it's the, it's just the out ears. That should be the out edge or out shore, because it's along the shore, and that's the out ears, which we will make. That's just a yellow. So that's for the butter. It's various colours we've got. So now we just need to. I've got those stops for the connections. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know how many people end up using this long haul one. I wonder. Let's grab that one there. How many other stops do I have on the outside of this? There. So if I grab. There's one. So which line? Which line is that? You are Owl Connects. Because you connect the owl to the center of the city. Let's make you an orange line. Let me grab you, if I can. I want you to come out to there. Here. So you apparently do have stop there. There you go. I want you to stop there. There. And here. Nice. Okay. Liking that. That's the public transport sorted. We need probably at least one taxi bay. What do we have? Not zoned. Right, there's nothing zoned up there. So we'll grab ourselves a taxi bay and just stick one in over there. Ooh, missed a spot. Uh, no. Low density. Now we want a taxi rank there. Just to give people a little bit more access when they're moving around. Maybe. Let's just stick one over here. Actually, let's put it. There, so we're not obstructing someone else's potential housing development. Now we want parks. What's this? A botanical garden. Wow, you look nice. Football field. So this is the player that we've got. Bouncy Castle Park. New things. Carousel Park. And a botanical garden. Well, the botanical garden's going in the city centre. To find the space of the damn thing. There we go. An office zone, yeah, I'm happy. That's nice. I like the botanical gardens. I have one, a big one of them. K 
carousel park. Oh, you're kind of cute. It's not actually that much space for actual people in these things these days. Right. Uh, don't know if we're going to get a chance to put a football field in. Yeah, we can. Just put one opposite that. This is a little bunker here. That should provide the power up. Let's put. There you go. Bouncy castle. That's quite a lot of space for a bouncy castle. Let's fill as much space as we can with park and fun time activities. Big bouncy castle over there. Maybe over here. Botanical garden. There's no way we're going to fit. Well, we can. There we go. Right. And a dog park. Park for dogs. Put that there. Right. Bars with trees. Now, I'm pretty sure I've not got any zoning along here, but let's, let's put them in slightly better places. So, that's the truly enormous one. Thank you. And again. There. There. And there. Odds are I'm not going to find space to put one over here. Too narrow. Did see a tick just then. There. Stick on the outside over here, please. Stick one on the outside over here. Don't want to stick one with one on the middle. Yes, yeah, so put one there. And then I'll put one there. Right, I love these nice big parks. Let's put Japanese garden. These over here. Should go have space for another nice big park over there. A sunken plaza. Space for a sunken plaza. We probably should have space for a sunken plaza in here somewhere. It's there. Got rid of a little bit of space. Uh, right, what's this one? A basketball court. I'll have one of those. Just absolutely flooding this place. With leisure activities. Making it a really nice place to be, really. Right, I'm happy with that. Um, already got all of these built. I don't necessarily want any of the monuments. Paths would probably be a useful one. Let's connect up. Here's the walking routes between places. It's all pretty good. I and mean, it would probably be a bad idea to. Ready? And that's slightly annoying. So let's just come out by two and then connect up. Ready? We've gone all the way that far down, have we? Even tell whether or not there's actually a. I, I just buried that part group. That was really unhelpful. Right, I started off subterranean for some curious reason. No, I would like to be. There we go, thank you. Let's just have a two and then we'll come down to here and then we'll do the other side where we'll have. Just a little bit. Walking down one. Really? I'm going to be that kind of fussy. Surface. I'm just going to be two and then we'll go down. It's up so we have a way for you to walk across there and there. I suspect that would be useful. We will probably also do the same act. Here, there, you dive under that. No, you can't just come out that way. Oh, that's a good point. 
So can we just yeah, I can spin off from there. Hi, uh, connect. Thank you. So I have a route there. Get across. Get across there. Somewhat tempted to. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see if I can get a. Big ass parking over here. No, I can't. That road is just too. too sharp, I'm afraid. Alright, can we get a plaza of any sort in whatsoever? Well, that is just a sad. Fair enough, we will grab our pavement. Back to there, back to there. And this space will be open. Alright, we'll cutting back slightly. We go from there, come back up. Walk to here, dive underneath, back up. There, dive underneath, and then from this park, there, dive underneath. And now we will. So we can go back connecting some of these up. No, I'm happy with that. That should give people the opportunity to walk between them. It would be nice if I could get a diagonal in, but uh, the game seems to be very determined to annoy me about the sloping, so I will leave that be. All right, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Animali with our Let's Play City Skylines. We've got the Owl Woods. Now it's full of services, happiness, MTR stations and the rest of it. So if you've been enjoying this, please remember to like and subscribe. I will welcome any comments and the rest of it. I've been the Marmoset. Thank you for watching.